All right. So the big question here is, is this going to be Gargoyles? And usually, I really should know this answer, man. I've casted so many Lucifer games, but for the life of me, I can't say right now if he actually plays Gargs or not. Chad, I'm, ca help I'm me calling out here. it. I'm going to call it right now. He's going to do a one cigarette tech and go for Gargoyles because he's not making a scout acolyte. That's... So he can make two more goals after that and just go for a super fast tech. If that call is on, man, not bad. I mean, now is the time to make a ziggurat, so unless he's messing up macro wise, he's going to do that. He not did move bad. his goals. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be. He's going to do a super fast tech. Oh, we have no in game sound. There we go. Now we do. He's going to be stuck on a very few ghouls for a long time, though, with this. So playing aggressively with ghouls is going to be pretty rough, because then you're going to be very low on lumber. Then again, if he goes for double crypt acolytes, don't really need though, that many, um, that much lumber, because of course you don't need the tier 3 for a while. And yeah, this is super fast tech. This is what I, I think appreciate most about Lucifer, is how uh, willing he is and... Uh, yeah, about how willing he is to play different styles, play different openings, mostly. Yeah. Playing for the map, I think that's really impressive when top level players can adapt. Because this map, I mean, there's the dragon, the creeps, there's the mercenary camps. So you, once you get really fast gargoyles, you can get level 3 and get two good items really fast. So it's really just a map specific choice, and I like that he makes it. He's not afraid to bury himself. You have a second ziggurat coming up, the graveyard in the back, which of course you do need for acolytes. Eh, for gargoyles, excuse me. Yeah, but as I said, the ghouls are going to be mostly forced to stay back and not do much of anything. So DK, one full level behind at the moment. And that means the demon hunter is going to be able possibly to get the boots before the undead starts creeping. And then the ghouls are going to be in quite a bit more trouble than they usually would be. Yeah. But we're, now we're going to see that point in the game. Well, at least we would if, if Lucifer played more standard. But at this point, Foggy doesn't really feel any pressure. And that's another big advantage with the, what Lucifer's doing. Like you said, on this map, you can't really creep beyond level 2. So even if, if you're doing a really greedy fast tech and you're kind of giving up map control, Foggy can't really take advantage of that. Like, he can't really start creeping. If he knew how busy the ghouls were at home, which of course you can't really rely on, he could creep the uh, gnolls without the Ancient of War, but that's so dangerous. If suddenly ghouls do show up and you're perched, you get surrounded, you lose the TP, never want to have that happen. He's, he's, gonna he's, gonna, in. Yeah, he's gonna be going towards the Merc camp, actually. Pretty cool how he chases away the undead and then gonna be going up to the other side of the map, where there's gonna be no contention. And yeah, he knows by this point that the gargs are coming, so taking one big advantage out of the gargoyle playbook pretty cool. Yeah, very, very well played by Foggy. Reacting very well to what Lucifer's doing. And I think this is a cool matchup to watch because both of these players, I think, are very smart. They will they will adapt to each other, so to speak. Best of three, by the way, um, in our semi-finals here. In the grand finals, it is going to be best of five, but for now, <clears throat> we're still going to be going to maximum three. The DK finds the creep jack here, but without a coil, what can you really do? Not too much seems to be the answer. He's chasing down these archers with the aura, but they... Oh, he actually did... Where did he get that extra bit of experience? He's creeping with ghouls. Yeah, but that's not enough for level Blaze 2. Are under ah, he hit tier 2, so he got bonus experience from that. LOL. Yeah, that's quite cool. Good timing, <laughs> if that was intentional. All right, and we have the double crypt, obviously, in the main. Gargs are coming. Oh, Foggy forgot his Huntress Hole. Well, that's nothing new now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he might just go Ancient. I, I would probably just go Ancient of Winds. I don't, I don't like playing Dryads against Gargoyles, but it looks like he's going to go for the lores. A player's forces are under attack. No Panda yet. He easily has the resources. He doesn't have a Wisp in position at the moment. Oh, the Room Bracers. Certainly nice. This Demon Hunter is never going to die. And here we go, we have double lores coming up in the main. Still enough money for a second hero. This is this like really intentional? This feels just like he, he his mind slipped. Like why he would might, you delay your panda so much? He might want to expand before getting the panda. Just because against Gargoyles you usually want to get a quick expansion. But he's not expanding and he's not getting a 
He's getting a super fast tier 3 instead. I guess he really wants to have access to that orb to deal with gargoyles. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Devotion aura for at least for a terrible item. Don't you think that un armor is underrated? I do actually, but this uh, the the Lionhood uh, Lionhorn of Stormwind didn't update with the uh, patch when they buffed uh, Devotion Aura, so it's just plus one instead of plus one point five. Yeah, much like the Cadgas Pipe, which is better actually as an item than it is as a level one. Oh so, yeah, I never really thought about that. Yeah, it's uh, one versus zero point seven five mana region. All right, we do have the panda now. Demon is level three. That means it's going to be his job to just be annoying as shit and chase the undead around the map. Getting the Ancient of Warkill would actually be a big deal. This can allow the Night Elf to go for the Merchant and perhaps even the Laboratory. It's kind of risky though, but maybe. Nice creep job coming in here. There's no mana for Coil though, but he might get the last hit. He does not. Panda's a bit in danger though. It's one gargoyle there, that is certainly not supposed to happen. They're pretty quick, especially with the aura, and there's trees right next to them. Oh, nice block from the archer. Of course, gargs don't really care about that. But it seems like he's gonna be able to save the berserker. That's a big save here, I feel. Of course, Dryad is out, and tier 3 should be done soon. Oh, it's gonna take a little longer. And the double boots, anyways, is, I, is what I like on Foggy Side. I hope he doesn't sell them. I think they're really good. On the panda uh, in this matchup, especially when you positioning against uh, for the breath against the gox is such a big deal. Yeah, really nice item so far. Definitely shouldn't sell the, any of those boots. Quite quick at tier three from loose first. It looks like it's gonna be try to be a timing push before the panda gets level three, but you might find that difficult to uh, pull off. They just come in. There's no yep. expo here to to attack into, fighting into the main, into the moonwells and shops most of the time, a death sentence. But with the lich and the tier three upgrades, he's gonna have still a lot of map to creep with. As we mentioned earlier, this map oftentimes, uh, despite it being so small, the creeps survive for a long time. Yeah, uh, one big thing is that uh, Foggy has used a lot of his moonwells already, and it's a long time until it's gonna become a knight. So Lucifer could find a timing here where he could just push with Frenzy and Orb and get a heal scroll and just try to win the game. There was there was a player who did this a lot. I think it was might have been Shake or Shaddai who did this a lot on Turtle Rock. Like the 50 food all in. It's very, very strong if you can keep the panda low. And there is an expansion from Foggy, so he's not really considering this as an option from his opponent. He's going for the long game. Again, very early. I, he played against another undead today on Last Refuge. Not a known undead, but still. He expanded on 24 supply or something. He had like two dryads and an archer. <laughs> Not afraid to go for those early, early expos. Doing a good Does job here the... with the Demon Hunter. Yeah, this is like uh, the most important part of this uh, game right now is if he can keep all of that mana low. He really needs to burn the uh, Lich if he can. Yeah. He has a Tele Staff. He's never going to die. At least he shouldn't. He also has the Wolf Bracers. Doesn't want to take too much damage. As you mentioned, Moonwells are low, and I don't think he has any Master Bears. Nope. We're too early in the game for that. But he will have level 3 Panda, and that's a crucial difference between yeah. what yeah, could have been. For. And the one of the win, not. Mm, uh, yeah. Not bad, but it's not like you're gonna interrupt some absolutely crucial seconds, I guess. Yeah, but there's not gonna be a destroyer, at least, for a while. But he is getting a boneyard, so he's not going for any all in. He's uh, definitely going for the long game. Shade scouting the expansion, so he might try to find a timing. I think. I think this boneyard might be too slow, to be honest. I think so too. I think it would have been better to just go for it before nightfall. Alright, here we go, Panda. Where is he? In the back, so he doesn't have the boots. First try, it dies for free. Come on, bro, give the boots over. 
Do not have a lot of damage. Drunken Ace, Bird of Fire. Oh, nice dodge there from the Gargoyles. Stone form being used. One of them dies anyways. But so do the Dryads. Of course, way easier to focus them down here with the addition of the damage from Orb and Ghouls. And only two Dryads are left. The next uh, Breath did hit pretty well. He's going to have one more in a couple of seconds. Double. One of the Wind being used as well. But he's throwing away his army here, it seems, as he loses the last of his Dryads. And so also did die his last Archer. And he's down to only 32, and now he really needs that expo to kick in. Yeah, very good fight by Lucifer. He, he controlled his units very well. All the ghouls were targeting the uh, medium armor units, and the gargoyles were targeting the dryads. A bit late on the uh, one the win from Foggy. But he does have the expansion, and at this point, Lucifer doesn't have a strong enough army to actually push. So even though Foggy kind of lost that fight, it's still looking quite good for him, I would say. Oh, the bear. Oh. If he eats a Gark, there might not even be enough mana. Panda, Panda has a staff. Nice. Almost level 3 on the Lich, though. So it's still quite scary for from Lucifer here. And there's the first uh, Worm is coming, so he could definitely try to just push this expansion at this point. We'll see if uh, Foggy can get enough Dryads out. He has a lot of wood issues right now as well. So there's no way for him to get like you know, ancients of wind for hippos. There's no, can't really even spam dryads. The reveal gives the demon a level four, increasing his toughness by quite a bit. Here's a worm. You really don't feel that worm. All right, let's see. Trying to burn as much of this mana as he can before the real fight breaks out. Lich is dry. DK has two coils. Statue is also dry, mostly. I really want to see a destroyer morphed to get rid of that rejuvenation. I'm not even sure if you researched the uh, destroyer form though. Yeah, you may not have. Oh, the panda, this is perfect positioning. Dragon Specify, nice Whoa. dodge again. Dodged this thing can't be too bad. And here we go. Going for the Dryads, first one dies immediately, of course, getting these volley kills is so easy. Level 4 for the panda. The Demon Hunter is coming from the main, but he was slowed for quite a while. And the Dryads are just falling like flies. Panda doesn't have much mana at all. The Lich, though, he's the weakness here with not being able to get coiled. But the mana potion is on the DK. I really like that choice of purchase. And there we go. Using one. And then now he needs to run away from the demon to not get burned. Doesn't do that. Doesn't seem to be getting punished, though. Again, we have the stone form against the mass damage from the Panda. He went for a mana potion himself. And there we see the heal scroll coming in. The worm, he's slowly chipping away at it, but with no dryads here. Pretty easy to micro that one, actually. DK doesn't have mana. Ooh, the Lich Man has to be afraid of that Breath of Fire. And Foggy does hold. I thought this game might just be over with the dryad slaughter that we saw. Yeah, wow. That Demon Hunter is just... With the Rune Bracers, he's a one-man army, and the Panda really helped as well. Speaking of which, uh, he does finally have the Boots of Speed, thank goodness. Did you know, by the way, that the Rune Bracers stack? Really? If you have two? Yeah, we saw that uh, a couple months ago by Life versus 120, where he found two of them on uh, Last Refuge, and yeah, they do actually stack. That's, uh, that seems kind of broken, but I guess that's quite rare to find two in a single game. Well, now, Foggy's got his expo running, he's got double level 4 heroes, he seems to be sitting pretty. Upgrade-wise, he's going for archers. What? I think it's like desperation archers, just to feel safe. Yeah, in case just get everything you can. Attack. Oh, expansion from Lucifer. Mm, yeah, that's never gonna work. Yeah, it's never, I, I did not. I thought he would just turtle on one base until his gold mine ran out, because that's what most gargoyle players would do. But he's actually trying to... I think it's a sneaky expansion. Like He's hoping that Foggy yeah. wouldn't even think about it. That's good. That's true. That's a good point. I was eating the breath, one of them gets finished off. Everything's kind of hurt, he does he have a heal spell? Yes he does. Using the stone form before it though. When Frostworm is not going to be getting healed enough with that heal scroll to survive, he does die. Lots of experience coming the Nihil's way, but now the Panda in trouble. Anti-Magic has to be popped pretty fast here with the Boots of Speed. He also has the Invul and the TP, so... I question that focus fire. There's not really any way he gets that kill. Now the Lich finds himself in trouble. There is no coil. There's gonna be one in a second, but he p burns him before he can get the mana. Everything extremely injured for the 
Korean player. Oh, Naga, late game edition. Okay, more control with the cold arrow, but the oh breath my. of fire does kill the DK, and that's it. GG. I think you, I think I agree with you that the worm was kind of what cost him the game there. It just slowed him down too much, and it didn't really do that much. It just gives Foggy something to focus on. I think it was uh, looking pretty good in that one fight where. Uh, basically where I thought he was going to win. Um, next to the expo when he killed all these dryads. Because when there's few dryads and you have one worm just to slow down the heroes, it's really good. But in these bigger engagements, it's just seven supply that just does a little bit of damage. And of course, nothing to dryads. Yeah, that's true. I think it's a frustrating position to be in as undead because you have a big army and you have everything, but you just you can't damage that demon hunter. and You don't have any mana, so you're slowly just dying. Yeah. Very frustrating to, to be in that position. Maybe the bigger mistake with that was uh, letting the expo come through. It's kind of an off timing. I think he was at like 40, maybe 37 something. And Lucifer could have definitely cancelled it, but of course if you commit to that cancellation with Dryads and uh, Drunken Haze slow, you may lose a lot of ghouls to it. But I think that still would have been worth it. Well, tough to call. Yeah. Also, one big th advantage with the gargles is you can cancel the uh, entangle gold mine for a long time, especially on ancient islands, which we didn't see at all. Yeah, that's true. You just let it come through. I think Elisra played it a bit too impatiently. Definitely, like whenever you go gargles, you usually would just want to drag it out as much as possible. Even if your opponent has an expansion, you can just keep on harassing wisps and buying time and just banking. We'll see what happens on... I remember... It was a long time I, I saw this, but it was Foggy against Lucifer. I think it was Garakup on Last Refuge. And, and Lucifer actually went for a fiend build, like a slow hero fiend build. And he actually won the game, so it was really cool to see. He might try something like that again. Yeah, we saw that also from 1-2-0 against uh, Remind, maybe <clears throat> half a year ago, where he went Lich first, fast fiends. And he actually won. And wow. Neo, Neo and me were losing our minds. We're like, how the fuck is this working? How like is the demon hunter with boots oh not God. just killing everything? And the answer was because of frost armor. Because, uh, of course, once dryads do have abolished, then it's shit. But before that, frost armor is really, really good against the demon hunter. So you want frost armor first? Mm, I'm not sure. It was Amazonia, so it was level 2 for free. Mm hmm. And uh, he had Frost Armor and Frost Nova. <clears throat> but at that time, Remind was extremely bad against Undead. Yeah, he just came back to the game then, I guess. We wait for... Oh, yeah, you... now no, we're in? all... Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Damn, it was last. <sighs> I didn't realize that you weren't here, so... Oh shit, I almost... Uh... Never mind. <laughs> Alright! Map number two. Is it gonna be Lucifer in the finals for the first time in quite a while? Well, same can be said for... <clears throat> Foggy, I guess. Yeah, and I it... think both of them uh, making it to the finals is a quite, quite a good achievement just based on previous performances. So they're probably both quite... Uh, motivated here to play well. And before we get into it, we had a new sub during the last game, and it's a first time sub by Ares. Thank you very much, man. Alright, Last Refuge, this is no surprise uh, as the undead map choice. This pretty much tells us that Turtle Rock isn't in the map pool, which also is no surprise. Really good undead map. Uh, pretty, well, not rough for the Night Elf to get level 2, but there are certainly easier ones. And. Lots of heavy armor, lots of uh, bloodlust stuff that you can easily creep with. Um, destroyers. Um, I always I, I feel like uncertain about the Merc camp. I feel like it's at the same time hard for the Night of to creep it, and at the same time also hard for the Undead to creep jacket. Yeah. Because, because the little trappers, they're just unpredictable, man. Sometimes you get wrecked by. Sometimes you lose the game because of Ensnare, and sometimes you win the game because of Ensnare. Yeah. I think uh, the positioning of the Merc Camp, it, it's a, quite a safe spot for the Panda to creep. Like, as Night Elf, I'd feel quite comfortable 
not in the, the early game is very difficult, I would say, just because, like you said, you can't really get level two. But once you get tier two, and once you have your panda out and your ancient awards position there, it you, you feels quite comfortable to get level three panda. Yeah, but I've also seen games where like they're creeping it with three or four archers, and then the lich comes in, and Nova and six ghouls, and all the archers are dead because they slowed <laughs> and ensnared. Yeah, I guess. But you have time to like, I guess, scout if your opponent's coming in and be a bit safe. But... <clears throat> Well, um, if you're as good as Starshaped, of course, then you, you can do that, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. even creep <clears throat> it. Just make the hunts. All right. You only creep the gold mines. That's the only camps that you need, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Please go ahead. Oh, yeah. But we saw a really fast ghoul from uh, Lucifer just being annoying. I'm not really sure what the purpose was because he was targeting a Moonwolf for a long time, but... I guess just to scare Foggy, maybe there's a ghoul rush coming or something. Which we could see, potentially. Oh, forgot to attend the game, so on again. Yeah, Neo and me talk about this quite a bit. Uh, 2000... When was it? 15? <laughs> Shit, man. So long ago already. Um, when HLA was uh, one of the best undeads in Europe, it was always the debate of do we go creeping first or do we go harassing first? And then later on, one to zero and happy, who are the best undead in the world, seem to show the rest of the class that going creeping first was the better choice. But Lucifer, being the old school player that he is, is resorting back to that style of going for the aggression immediately. I actually think it's pretty okay on this map because the level two isn't too easy for the demon to get. He's going to need what is this? Two skeletons and a ghoul, and hopefully not get surrounded here. That would be a horrible start, but he does slip out of it. I think it's a good choice. Like you said, as long as there's no level 2, the Demon Hunter is quite squishy. And you can force a lot of defense out of your opponent to make sure the Ancient War doesn't go anywhere. To make sure that the, you might get some Wisps, you might force some Moonwells. Make your opponent feel a bit unsafe. You can always creep later. Yeah, but, uh, and depending on uh, which position he hunts the archers into and where he finds his ghouls, he's also going to be able to get the High Priest, which can drop the very imbalanced sentry wards. But now he finds himself in a bad position here. Uh -oh. The archer is perfectly next to the moon wells, the ghouls in the back of the base. He's going to go for the surround here that might be futile. The ghoul actually gets away to the north. He sold his town portal as well, so he really had to get out of that one. Yeah. But uh, with the aura on him and no boots on the demon... It's not too dangerous, I guess. Five archers now? Attack. That's a lot. That means that five ghouls are certainly not enough to deal much more damage. Oh, the demon again. Almost walking into a surround. Uh, the foggy specialty. Oh, is it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, lots of times this, uh, that happened in China. When he had a fantastic early game against 1 to 0, and suddenly, whoops, I'm next to the halls of the dead and I'm slow and I'm surrounded by ghouls. I guess I use a TP now. Gotta get that staff. It's crucial. Speaking of, he's not uh, going for any of those mobility items yet. Is he really gonna save all that gold? Of course, it's gonna be great for his timing, but yeah, he has to get it now. Look at the ancient war. He's, I think he's actually moving towards the lab instead of the mercenary the camp. Forces are under attack. Hmm. Maybe he's just afraid of uh, ensnares as I am. You can also get a really like if you get like a book of the dead or something, you can maybe do a lot of damage early on before destroyers are out. But we do have the boots and the staff now, finally, so Foggy feels pretty safe. Yeah, and I, I wonder if these archers are gonna. Yeah, he's getting the Naga, so he got one extra archer that more than he usually get, and it's gonna be quite aggressive here with the frost arrows. Yeah, I like Naga on this map. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, so good uh, for the double ogres. Yeah. Rudan always gets... Well, I guess he gets Naga all the time against Undead. But especially on this map, I think it's very, very strong. Yep. I do think so myself. Trying to get the last hits here with Frostmorn. Uh, by the way, zero experience on the DK. It's starting to become an issue. Tier 3 has been started. Lich is on his way. How many ghouls is this? It's only six ghouls? Oh no, there's four with a DK. That would have been kind of crazy. Yeah. I think Lucifer is going for this kind of what I would call like hate love anger style. He doesn't really care about creep, creeping or experience at all. He's just going to be aggressive all game and then try to end it with ghoul frenzy. 
Looks like it at least. Because of how, how WFZ uh, played quite a bit in the past. It's really hard to pull off though once the demon gets level 3. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna creep the shop with the engine war. Makes sense, I guess, because then he can move up later on to the laboratory. Very careful play by Fogger. I think he could have forced uh, that ogre going his way. Maybe he would have lost an archer or two. Maybe he thinks that's not worth it. Anyways, goes to Lucifer in the end, and Foggy gets his one on his side. Greater healing. Fantastic! Everything you can get as Night Elf to keep your heroes alive is always appreciated. Meanwhile, greater vulnerability for the Undead, which is also probably the best item you can get. You don't think great mana? I, 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 th I think red mana. Ah, oh, yes, but also, they kind of serve. If you go okay. for the timing, the um, like the Frenzy Ghoul all in, the Throw of the Beast can be really good if there's no Wisps coming. That's true. But I guess like the, the greater invulnerability and the greater mana kind of serve the same purpose. Like You can avoid mana burns with the invulnerability. You can also gain mana with the... Mm. But I don't think he's going to go for the all-in, because he got the Sacrificial Pit, so probably going to get the Frostworms and play super, super late game. Because that's usually what we see on this map. It's either like a really fast all-in, or it's going to be one of those games where everything gets crept. And both players just kind of sitting back. And again, the demon on burn duty. Even before hitting level 3. He was uh, slowed down in his uh, experience progress quite a bit in the early stages. <clears throat> with the ghouls being in his base and everything. And then him not being quite as decisive with taking his next few creep camps. But he's still yeah. getting the job done, still keeping the heroes low on mana, kind of at least. With a level 1 burn, that's a really tough uh, thing to do now. Yeah, I'm surprised when you, when you have like a Naga second, I wouldn't prioritize creeping her over the Demon Hunter. Makes more sense with a Panda. I would especially like uh, to see him more in the middle of the map, contesting creeps there, and trying yeah. to uh, force ghoul kills. Because Frenzy Ghouls are really scary against Naga, I think. So, I yeah, exactly. Naga, yeah. So if you if you pick them up early on, one by one, you can slowly get a better chance in the, when the push comes. But there's not going to be a push, so it's, it doesn't yeah. really matter too much. That's still on 50 supply when they're contesting the map. Or the Ghouls are going to be really strong. There's an expansion, very early scout this time from the Shade. I wonder if he falls into the WFZ trap and lets it finish on purpose and then thinks he can easily win despite that fact and then he loses because of it. Or if he tries to cancel it instead. Yeah, I, I like that in theory, like you force your opponent to waste all the resources and can't cancel it and then you just go kill it. But yeah, if you can't actually win the fight, you probably shouldn't. Uh... But he's just gonna go cancel it, he's not gonna take any risks. No. Playing it safe, wouldn't blame him. The Naga's coming in with the boots. Looking for some kills here, some exit kills. Nice fork okay. lighting there. And with good ride, Michael, that should be two kills maybe. Gets one. It's the coil. So I think this is still looking really good for Lucifer. Like, as long as it's even economy, I think he's comfortable to just uh, sit back. So if he can keep denying that expansion, which he probably can since he has the shade, he can try to maneuver his way. Yep. Especially considering there's still five archers in this army. That's not good for the yeah, night elf. Uh, Nova and ghoul food right there. Yeah, Frenzy ghouls are much better late game than the archers are, especially when you're not facing a panda. Really early hippogriffs from uh, Foggy, so he's really expecting this. Uh... Yeah, he, that, that's, that's his mantra. In China, he told us so much. Can't win without Hippogriff. <laughs> it's true, though. Like, if you're undead micro as well, especially on a map like this, you can, like, hide the worm in the yeah, trees. trees the everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. But at the same time, like, Hippogriffs, they just get webbed. I always, I, I never, never like making Hippogriffs because they just web everything and they move two steps back. And then... But if you pay close attention, there's only a single fiend. And if you pay closer attention, still, the archers are mostly dead. Now here's the Hippogriff, also important for vision, not just for damage. Frostroom has to go back. And we have two Hippos now. It's looking good. I mean, Spoggy's kind of yeah. holding his own. The expansion's going up. And that fight went way better for the knife than it should have, I think. Yeah. For some reason. 
bit of an overextension and kind of he splayed his army too much, Lucifer did. Whenever you have that orb, you really want to try to keep yourself concentrated on one area in the fight. Yeah. And now he's trailing 10 supply and there's a, an expansion about to be done. And I think we have uh, Focus's opponent, kind of, I mean... <clears throat> oh, nice reveal, seeing the shade there, that's pretty cool. Of course, Actually, in, in Caster Stu School uh, 101, never call a game over. But this is looking really <laughs> good now for Foggy. Yeah, probably probably the game is, but you never know. Like, Undead can always, worst case scenario, they can kind of just sit on 50 supply and try to go for that, like, 100 against 100 final big fight style. I don't think that works against Hippos, though, because if, if the Knight of Wands, with Hippos, not with Dryad, but if the Knight of Wands, he can just run into the main with like 10 Hippos, and then he can still fight, despite it being on that main. Anyways, he finds the ancient giant, no wait, what's it called? It was on Battle Drums. Commander, really nice. But he's gonna have to TP out of this, because the Hippos are coming in. Fiend will be getting away just barely. But he's certainly playing that... I get that feeling from him, like the way he's playing now. He's just trying to get creeps, he's sacrificing town portals just to creep the map as much as he can. Yeah, I think it's the only choice he has. Oh, one thing he could do, by the way, is go for double zapper shenanigans. Yeah, to kill the expansion, that'd be great. I, think I always hate that. We used to see that all the time on uh, Twisted Meadows. Yeah, I mean... Once you get used to that too much, you start getting nature's blessing just to be safe. Yeah. And just uh, scouting wisps could also be positioned, but, you know, it can, can come as a surprise every now and then. Yeah, you gotta have, like, Happy has amazing reflexes against that, sappers and stuff. He's always instantly reacting. But uh, that's really difficult to do, I think, when there's so much going on. Oh my god, expansion from Lucifer. Another attempt here. Hmm. I don't see it working. And, and the scout is coming in. Wait, or... Yeah, really good. I really like the hippogriff scouting here from Foggy. He's really keeping uh, tabs on the entire map. And uh, there's just no way... I guess, as a caster, we shouldn't call that either, but I really don't see there's any way this expansion can uh, can hold. Yeah. Um, it's gonna have to be quite a few miracles happening very soon if he wants to keep this going. The Lich is really strong. So let's let's see what's what's the Plus way out 26. here. Plus twenty-six. I mean, the, I, if the Ziggurats were positioned more forward, and he could kind of create like an artificial choke with the uh, sacrificial pit or necropolis, then he could maybe take a fight. But the way it looks now, there's no way he can. He can't really back up into anything. So he's just exposed no matter what. And the issue is, he has four fiends. He may have the numbers to deal with the hippos. He has five fiends now, but with the fiends you always want to have somewhere to kite backwards and he kind of finds himself against the forest here. No town portal either, so he has to take this fight. The game will be decided here. Greater healing on the demon hunter coming in very nicely right there. The Lich in will just barely saves him, using another coil to heal him up as well. Not going for the demon anymore. And the last and only Frostworm is down. No more air units now. The bears on the ground can use Reju and everything. No dispel the DK. As you mentioned, no TP. He is kind of saving himself towards the back. The towers are now up. The Demon Hunter is gone. There's no Tele Staff on the Demon. Oh, never mind. There is actually the Lich in trouble. There's going to be a coil in a second. And there it is. Just seconds, milliseconds before the mana burn. But now anti magic. On the Demon Hunter, right clicks coming towards the DK. He's trying to block him with the Hippogriffs, but they're flying units, it doesn't work. <laughs> but the Naga might be fast enough to slow him down. No! Oh my god. He actually stays alive. Holy shit. So, I think Lucifer just won the game. Honestly, like, if you can. If, well, he doesn't he, have any acolytes. But how did he not die there? I have no idea. That staff move is so strong as well. I really thought once the Demon Hunter came back with the anti magic and full health and full mana. And the Lich put in overtime there with his damage yeah. move. Really, but really impressive, but he kept his calm, Lucifer did, and just uh, microed well. Microed the uh, Frostworm really well as well, kept it alive as long as he could. And I'd love to see him just not make any more Frostworms now, because there's so many Hippogriffs out there, just make them a kind of useless food. Just go like uh, Fiend uh, Statue Abominations. Yeah, but against master bears i've rarely seen you can win against master bears without air but i think in that case you can't face a demon hunter 
At the least how it seems to me. Maybe with Banshees he can possess them or something. But I mean, uh, backup plan, Foggy has another expansion now. I didn't even notice that. So yeah, he's really going for the long game here. Uh, but ultimately, I, like, I, I, I don't think that favors him. Because like, if you get it to 100 food, I think Lucifer can make a better 100 food army than Foggy can. That and, might uh, be the case. But I mean, <clears throat> Foggy can go to 80 supply now, get all the consumables, and keep on trading. And always have the gold mine advantage. I'm not sure that the uh, Lucifer will be able to fend that off. But he's going to be aggressive. I think uh, bears and hippos. Uh, I mean, what are they called? Two-headed dragons. Chimeras would be really good here. Yeah, chims are underrated. I think in the late game, it'd be cool to see some. But again, the issue is web, I suppose. Finally creeping the mercenary camp, very late. It's one of the last spots left, we'll see what he gets here. Can't really see the item. Plus... Got the last. Not bad. Ah, uh, nice. And Lucifer, the confidence, he's at 61 supply, he's going up against the second expansion. He can kill this for sure, he can Nova the Wisps. And just time portal out of this. That was a big mistake by Foggy. How did he let him get this expo so, so freely? Well, freely might be the wrong word, he loses one fiend, but that's it. Even one more hippogriff is dying on the way out. Oh, there's no wood for Foggy and he's supply block. This is, this must feel terrible. He has so much gold and... Yeah, Shredder should have been on the menu quite a while ago. How much lumber is it? 120? 100 for the Shredder. So yeah, definitely worth investing in, especially if you're going to go for like three bases, because you're already going to have 15 wisps in uh, gold. Yeah. But I'm impressed with Lucifer. It's like worth, what, 10 lumber wisps or something? Probably even more, it's insane. And you can use it as a fighting unit once you have like 5,000 wood, you can just bring it with your army. <laughs> once you have like 5,000 wood. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drag this game out for another two hours. <laughs> there were five on the Naga. That's gonna be lots of fog lightning damage. Actually, really nice because there's no necropolis, so rebuilding these acolytes is gonna take a long time. So yeah. this is a much bigger deal than it might seem. And you can get level five demon with the last camp in the bottom right if he wants. I, re I really just don't. I wouldn't feel confident with that naga in the super late game. Like if that was a level five panda. Yeah, that would be better definitely. But I mean, once you get the tornado, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, that, that's when the game ends. It, the game just turns around once you get that tornado going. Instant GG from your opponent. This lich man. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that really kept Lucifer yeah, alive. I, I think without that inventory, you would have lost the game up there at the gold mine. Yeah, this is just incredible DPS. It's like a Blade Master level. Tinker like game. I only started adopting this recently, but I think it's so good. Yeah, it's kind of like the Talon, like when you go mass Talons against Orc, you get it for position. And this is kind of the same thing, you have a like, mass ranged yep. and against also mass melee. bears, to be uh, effective, most effective have to be on A-click, and then they waste their time with the little uh, goblin dudes. Yeah, you can't abolish the factory, so yeah, it's a very, very good choice. And you're not going to waste mana burns on a Tinker when you can prioritize the Lich Death Knights. Here we go, I'm looking really good for the positioning as for Lustra. But he's closing in from both sides now. The bears are finding the fiends, and there's certainly not enough magic damage to deal with these bears. Lich in trouble in the back line. TP out has to come. The Lich will use the invul here just to be safe. And oof. A few Look more at that ancient war on the way out. He spent so much uh, time attacking that ancient war. Almost died. The value. Crazy. And another base. Another gold mine. If he doesn't lose this one just the way that he did the last gold mine, that would be. Amazing. But the case is still remaining. Uh, bears are 2 1 now. They obviously have raw. There's nothing to dispel that. And winning a ground game against bears is so hard when there's a demon hunter. Speaking of which, he's staffing out here. No possibility of cancelling that one. I mean, Master Banshees are possible in theory, I guess? But did you know, by the way, when, when they cast possession, they uh, instantly die to Fork Lightning? That's something that I learned the hard way on, on W3 Arena. 
Oh, on, on level level two forked lightning or level three forked lightning. Level three. Oh, oh okay. because of the extra damage they take. Yeah. It might be it... in mid level two, but I don't think so. But certainly on level three, they die immediately. And also, it's so weird to play possession against bears because there's double staff possibility. There's even dark ranger third possibility. Yeah, and then there's also the fairy dragons to help you get a bit of extra damage on them once they cast it and try to kill them. But I still think it's strong. It's a strong, uh, like, a, a lot of Niles don't really know how to deal with it. Because it's so rare. It has to get cancelled. There we go. And still foggy with the big uh, economy advantage. By the way, the mains have run out at some point, which we neglected to mention. And now the tree is moving up with his nature's blessing. It's going to be possibly three gold mines versus... One soon, as the shade scouts this over here. Loser needs to have a big decisive win very soon. And making that work against the bears, gonna be rough. Going only for more upgrades now, I'm surprised he sort of neglected his upgrades here, considering how much economy he had for a long time. Yeah, I agree. But uh, I guess it's been a hectic game, a lot of things going on. But this is the point in the game where, like, whenever you play late game against Night Elf, eventually your opponent's going to get a free expansion, and eventually they're going to get, like, Superman. So it's quite disheartening for Lucifer to... to I mean, I, I commend him for going this super late game style, but I have to feel like it's not... It's going to go downhill from here. There is, uh, with good micro deposibility here, of these frost rooms getting out of control and the hippos all getting webbed. He's not doing the best kiting at the moment, as only now the last few webs come in when the crossrooms have already taken a lot of damage. The bears in the front line still clapping away with their roar. Nothing here to dispel. The damage is very significant, but the TP out will have to come. I think he TP'd to his main tree here to not expose that one too much. Yes, he did. And the shop is coming up here as well. That's a really cool addition. And now, Janet may have to fight uphill. DK is out of mana now. He has a mana potion, though, to use at some point. Hippos only two now. They have become fairly useless. The front line is the big X factor here. Frostworms are very low themselves. They're going to give a lot of experience over. But here comes the healing coil just barely in time. And the bears starting to drop really low. The Tinker is in trouble himself. He dies to so the Fog Lightning. Only level one hero though will come back soon. However, not forgetting uh, about this experience which is always going to be relevant on the demon. He's getting closer to level six. But the last few bears, man! Only two left suddenly. He's kiting back to his towers. There's going to be a narrow tower here and a spirit tower, but oh, the frost worms. He can't lose those. That's way too much experience. He's trying to save them above the trees. Moving back in. That's asking for trouble. Level six for the Naga. Where's the tornado? She doesn't have the mana, actually. Thanks, of course, to Cold Arrow all the time, draining her. And again, he stays alive. Some of his expansion. The Demon Hunter is 20 XP away from his level up. But he gets a lot of kills here. 50 supply for the Yannet as the dust settles. 53 for Foggy. At the end of this game, we have to see how much Foggy outmined his opponent, man. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, this statue kill. This will be level 6. Frostworm, of course, even better, but he can heal the Frostworm. Going for the Naga. Oh my god, is he gonna lose her? Is he somehow losing this game? Healing potion being given over. The TP has to be uh, coming out, and the Frostworm will die. And that is the level up. Level 6 Superman time. And he <laughs> TG's out right away. <laughs> it's a GG. That's the only right play. You used to leave the game. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. That was really that was cool a, though. Amazing fight I think by Lucer still like considering all all the uh, disadvantages there but he really kept those rooms alive and microed really well but I think he had to try and go for maybe like a hero kill or something a bit earlier to try and uh, stay in that game. 